When I was a lad, I had a dream. And that dream was to be able to take photographs and get them back immediately. Because back in the 1970s, the majority of photographs, you had to take them on the camera and send the film off or take it to a chemist for developing and rate for a week. But there was one make of camera in which you got the photograph almost immediately and it was called a Polaroid camera and these were made mainly in America, mainly in the States and they promised instant photographs and I remember at the age of about nine I was absolutely fascinated by the idea of having a photograph immediately and I really wanted a Polaroid camera and I got one for I think it was about my ninth birthday and it was this model um, and it was called, called the Swinger, the Super Swinger. It only took black and white photographs, it only took eight on a cassette, you would put in a cassette by slipping the cassette into here, then closing, then you would either use a flush if you were inside or outside you will be fine with light. You had to press that I think to get the, oh that was for flush, you, it took two batteries for an explosive meter and then you basically just clicked. It was a fixed focus lens, the photographs were, as I said, purely in black and white. What would happen? You would take the photograph, you would have to pull a piece of white paper which would then fly out a sticky cassette, well, a sort of two layered papers which you have to peel, rate it a minute, you would time it to a minute according to the temperature, the um, air temperature, if it was winter it had to be about two minutes, if it was in the middle of the summer 50 seconds was probably fine. So you timed it then peeled the paper apart and then got your photograph. The downside was it was expensive, um, it was only in black and white and it wasn't easy to get copies. This is a typical Swinger from about 1975. This was the slightly more luxury model and took colour. People are still quite interested in instant photographs and particularly a Polaroid. These are absolutely worthless now. There's only the um, Polaroid stopped producing films about two years ago. There is a company in um, the Netherlands called The Impossible Project and they do produce film. It's had to be of a completely different specification. Um, there's a film called a 600 and you need to check when you buy a camera carefully that it will take the available film. It is expensive, I think it's about 17 to 20 pounds for about 10 shots. It's fun but it is expensive and these are great to collect as a design interest and as a piece of history but you can't get the film and you won't be able to use them. So good to collect for fun, useless if you want to use them to take photographs. Thanks.